2009. Um, this has just been one of the most phenomenal retreats um, that we've done. It's just been absolutely awesome. It's a new venue that we've come to, so we had a lot of um, new things that we've done. Um, we were in a, this huge house, stunning house. Most of us are in the house, um, which is what's the beauty of it, is that we're able to house most all of the women in this one house. So it's been amazing. We've done our own cooking, so it just gives it a holy feel, helps the ladies to work together, teamwork, unity, and it's just been absolutely awesome. We're preparing some pie. Yeah, that's the afternoon. Got to chop it, chop it, chop it, chop it. Without asking. <laughs> Um, the Women of Excellence um, retreats began five years ago. This is our fifth one um, with, at Ashburnham, and it's just come such a long way since we began. This is probably the one of the nicest in regards to the venue. It's a beautiful house that we're in. The house was originally created for parties. They used to have these huge balls here, so it's a party house. That was what the, um, the tour guide told me when we first came up to look at it. So last night, um, the ladies, after we prayed for them, we anointed each one of them with oil. I charge your spirit and Jesus. I charge you tonight. And we just had a Holy Ghost party after that, so it's absolutely awesome. so free enjoying themselves and those of you that didn't come you really missed out on an amazing amazing time but the, the retreats have just had their own different flavor and if you were to ask me which one was the best I probably wouldn't be able to tell you because they've all been so different there's been something memorable and outstanding in each and every one of them so I think you know you can't say what's best from what's not it's just been different um, this year we had some phenomenal speakers Pastor Douglas came up and he ministered on the powerful woman and it was just so profound you know even though i'm married to him and i know him and the things he came out with i mean he had me writing notes because if you know your power you don't need to nag if you know your power you don't need to shout i learned a lot there's a lot i'm going to implement when i go home um reverend sarah she ministered um, powerful, powerful young lady, and I'm proud to call her my daughter. The wisdom that comes out of her is so beyond her years. Your speech should be your Bible. Your conduct should be your Bible. It says in First Peter, our foundational scripture, that wives, your husbands, will be won by your conduct done a phenomenal job with that um, the ladies were ministered to were so blessed by the things that she brought into this conference um, Reverend Q again a powerful woman we live the ladies that came on the retreat um, that don't go back to the ashes don't go back to who you were before remember what we talked about walking it out we talked about 100% this year is not 90% that we're asking we're saying we want 100% back that means a total paradigm shift so leave the ashes behind don't go back to the ashes don't go back to the old ways but begin to walk out and implement everything that you've learned everything that you've heard 
put it into practice, do the practical now, you've received the spiritual, make sure that you dil you're diligent and faithful to walk out the practical side of what you learned. I encourage you for 2010, make a date, have a goal, have a desire that you want to get involved, you want to be a part of that because I guarantee you will not come back the same woman that you were when you came to the retreat. So I look forward to seeing all of you or any one of you, especially if you've never been, I encourage you to get involved with the retreats because it will really empower and impact your life for the better. God bless you.